Ukraine's government is trying to pr uh, promote its point of view on global affairs these days. And with that in mind, it's therefore created a news channel with the name Ukraine Today. Earlier, RT host Nisanawe got in touch with the new network's executive producer live on a show in the now. This is how that conversation went then just a couple of hours ago. Joining us in the now is Tatiana Pushnova, the executive producer of Ukraine Today. I just want to show our audience a little taste of your broadcast. Of your broadcast. Can we see I that clip now? Your name is, uh, but you're also now? responsible for thousands, thousands of deaths in my country. And Russia today, who financed by Kremlin, uh, lie about my country, lie about Ukraine. That's why I don't want to communicate with you. And I call to my international colleague, don't cooperate with Russia today. Could you just tell us a little bit more about... Okay. And there it went. Well, Anissa's with me now. I'm sitting in the studio with your program as they're live. I don't know whether it's to be expected or not. I can't say we're surprised. Um, we invited Tatiana on last week. She agreed right away, which to us was a little bit surprising because we've been trying to get different views on the show, mm. um, not just from Ukraine, but out of Washington, out of Europe. And it's hard to get people to come on, mm. on Russia. We're in the middle of a, an information war. It's hard, and there's been this stigma created, either systematically or by default, where if you go on, if you don't go on Russia today, you'll help it to be, uh, again, by default, kind of more unbalanced than we already are. I guess that's their argument. And so we invited her on, um, and as our audience just saw, the invitation to come on and have frank dialogue. Um, she had the questions beforehand. She could have been well prepared with arguments, uh, pretty simple questions. What's the project about? Uh, who's it's funded by. We were going to show clips of some of the broadcasts, some of their tweets. We didn't get to that because mm. uh, the the goal of coming on was to show the sign of uh, Russia Today, stop lying, which we did. And unfortunately, right now, what we're seeing on social media is Ukraine Today trying to say that we cut them off, which is well, absolutely I was, Well, unless I missed something, lie. I was here and I watched that and it, it, it was there throughout, wasn't it? You Not kept only it was going. it there, I went back to it to yeah. make sure our audience saw uh, what an invitation for dialogue was turned well, into. I mean, it, it, it goes without saying, we've said it's a news channel that's been set up um, almost with the same kind of name as us, Russia Today, as we used to be. A um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's just take a quick look at uh, some of the initial promo uh, material that, that, that they've put out. Let's listen and see what they're about. Ukraine Today will bring international viewers closer to the action as Ukraine fights for its independence against imperial forces which threaten the whole of the civilized world. I mean, is that, uh, to, to what extent does that um, reflect what we see on the, on the broader channel? How much more of it have you seen? It's pretty much all we're seeing right now because they don't have presenters, they don't have reporters yet. They've basically like just Euro started. News. For now, they have mm. big plans. Um, obviously, their portraying themselves or trying to portray themselves as an information channel and a lot of interviews um, that Tatiana has given to uh, BBC, to Al Jazeera, she's talked about how they're going to be very informative, they're not going to be like Russia Today, they're not going to be propaganda. Not sure if running a promo talking about how Russia is a threat to the entire world could be deemed as non-propaganda, but it's for the viewers to decide. Are you decide. going to invite her on again? Maybe will she invite you on the program Maybe if she wants to see the point of view? I think we're going to hopefully tomorrow in, in the now um, get to show our audience some of the clips that we had prepared, which we didn't get to go to. I think we gave her a fair amount of time. Mm. Uh, she said what she had to say. Um, We'll see what happens in the news, you know, the, the yeah. overnight news hall to the, to the states, what the reaction's going to be. Absolutely. It seems like it could be pretty viral material. I'm assuming that's what they wanted. I think what it comes down to, Kev, um, and we, of course, have been witnesses, this, we're, we're in a media war, mm. and this is part of the game. We're going to continue to invite mm. these people on. Mm. We're not going to stop. We're going to continue to invite the state I department. I see how your producers work, trying to get... Yeah, so we're going to keep fighting. Different views we're on. not going to give up. We want to have all perspectives mm. uh, on RT, certainly on In the Now. It's something we try very hard to do. And this is going to be stuff that happens if we continue to do that. But we're not going to stop. We're not going to back down. 10 p.m. Moscow time tomorrow night, then. We'll expect to see you live we'll again, see back. what the reaction is following it up. Thanks, Nisir. Nisir Nawi um, from the In the Now show. Great show. Must catch it. Thank you for now.